Good morning, y'all. This is Space Miner checking in. Um, I'm at work doing some prep work for the season. I'm not out of fire. Wish I was. But it is work, and I'm thankful. So with that, this is a soft track, okay? In the fire service, this is known as a soft track, okay? In essence, what it is is an old log skidder, okay? So there's your decking blade, okay? And in the past, this would be a just a deck with like a little crane dip with a uh, with a little grapple. And so what it does is it dips down, grabs the log, and pulls it back up onto the tray, and then you just drive it out, okay? But we reconverted this to make up what's known as a fire soft track, okay? Um, that's a 1,200-gallon tank, the pump, okay? So... I'm going to try to make this quick because I know the tension span on my channel is about 28 seconds. So, decking blade for logs, okay? There's my deck gun, okay? Inside, tell me if anybody recognizes this engine. This is a Detroit 6V53, also known as the Screaming Jimmy. Why do they call it that? Because it's a two-stroke diesel, which means if this thing lights on fire, this whole thing lights on fire, this guy's going to still be going. Once you start him, you don't need any, you don't need anything for him. He'll just keep on trucking and a lot of power in a two-stroke as long as you're at the top. Okay, let's keep going. All righty, so. We've got our uh, monitor for our rear camera. Here's our monitor for our deck gun. Do, do, do. Up, down, left, right. Um, let's see. Gauges. Okay. Forward, reverse, neutral, first, second, third. Okay. This is kind of neat. These are brakes. Left brake, right brake. These are exactly like the old tanks. Old military tanks, okay? Um, blade down, blade up, and if you shove it all the way forward, it'll lock into position, which is blade float, which means it's pretty much free to move with the ground or against resistance, okay? This is a transmission brake and throttle, okay? So, fuel, hydraulic, okay? Come up top real quick. Boo -doo -doo. Okay, there's our drafting hose for drafting water out of streams, ponds, lakes, etc. Um, here's our 1200 gallon water. Okay, on a if you got good clean water, you can like good clean city water or something. Sometimes you can take a bath in this, which is real nice when you go weeks without a bath. Um, some just classic hand tools. Uh, one inch, 100 foot hose. Let's see, foam, fuel, pump. Okay. Okay, now why is this called a soft track? Well, it's because each one of these wheels is on its own independent suspension. All right. Guys asked about the soft track. Believe me, ain't nothing soft about that. Um, you know how many clipboards, thermoses, whatever's I've crushed, electronics, phones. So anyways, each one of these is its own swing arm. So each one of these wheels can come up individually eight inches, okay? And that's why they call it soft track as compared to a dozer, which is just one hard plate all the way across. So it, it keeps the pressure low on the ground, lets us navigate um, over some rougher terrain. And uh, these tracks, this system, is military been reconverted for civilian usage or now fire usage i suppose but anyways and then just a hard steel belly 
okay all of our maintenances are in little hatches down there okay um backup lights and alarm um these are mandatory okay and your dump which is also mandatory okay um here's our pump okay um ba -ba -ba. so pump is pretty simple okay here's this is for foam this is a foam regulator okay foam is just pretty much soap in a, in a in a lot of ways it's just pretty much soap guys it just makes water wetter so here's our hand prime okay this will prime the pump for us um so choke you pull the choke out you click the button on okay you click it on you pull the choke out just a notch give it a start as soon as it's going shut your choke back off give a little bit of throttle and your water pressure should prime right up okay this is our little valve body okay um this is for filling and and these ones are for sending okay um we got this guy here is, is my favorite valve um one of my favorite things to do is take the three quarter garden y and then i run a cu couple hundred foot sticks okay off of each one and then off of each one of those i do an additional y with additional sticks which could give you know anywhere between you know two to four 12 whatever you know lines out there a couple hundred feet which means i can work a whole crew off of that valve okay all right here's our uh tool and fluids compartment here's our hoses and fittings and more tools compartment some of the tools of the trade Okay, these are the three-quarter garden hose, okay, also known as P-hose, or just garden, um, or just three-quarter, okay. Um, these stickers um, are all the guys that have honored us with, look, here's the Columbine Wildland Fire Module, um, here's Plumis, uh, this is Dozer 3, gave us this one, that's a reflective sticker, Pagosa Pre- Suppression module, Shawnee module 11, Santa Fe hot shots, San Juan hot shots. Uh, you know, there's Pecos Valley. Um, there's a couple guys on there. And uh, when we work with these units, when we work with these different crews and they got a sticker, we let them put a sticker up there and in a spot they choose. And uh, they honor us by doing so. Here's our one inch hose reel. Okay, so 100 feet for that guy. And uh, that's pretty much it, y'all. This is Bender. We call him Bender because he came from uh, Bend, Oregon. Bend, Bend, Oregon, I think. So, anyways, there you guys go. Just wanted to show you one of the pieces I work with. Aka, I got one more for you if you're watching. If you guys have made it this long. Buddy, I told you I operate, man, but here's my grapple. This is my grapple for my logs. So whenever we're doing logging and stuff, this is the grapple I use. Um it, it does 360 swivel and uh and it opens and closes. Um, we got a hard tong here, a hard thumb. So we mount that in position whenever we're using our, our scoop. And, uh, yeah, this is our old deer, our dear old deer. And so, um, last thing is one of the things we're doing today, not for prep work for fire, but today we're going to run the wood miser. Believe me, guys, I operate tons of pieces of equipment. You have no idea how many pieces of equipment I can operate. But this is our sawmill. 
Um, today we're going to make some steps and railing for the ranch house. Um, we're going to cut out some different sizes. We got to make steps and we're going to repair some railing. So that's just one of them. Um, and then a used and old engine, but you know, we picked it up for one part, one part, because it was cheaper to get the whole stupid engine than one part. So, anyways, we had to, we had to leave a fire. We we broke down on a fire. Oh no! And we we drove. We were, uh, man, I don't remember. I think it was like 22 hours there and 22 hours back or something like that. We straight drove to Canada, and then back just to get some parts um kind of crazy but hey we did it so anyways just kind of wanted to show you guys a bit about what my work life looks like and uh a little bit of that colorado life so anyways i hope you guys uh learned something i hope you enjoyed this uh my audience retention is 28 seconds so I don't think you guys will ever make it this far. But that being said, hope you enjoyed it. Um, and with work means I can send those dang gauze out, man. Um, I burned up the last of my cash and the last of my stamps trying to send those out. And the post office kept on turning them back around on us. Part of it is my... I got a brand new address. Um, part of it was wrong packaging. And like, I tried a couple times to send these out, but now I'm just gonna say, screw it. Send it out in boxes, you know? So uh, thank you guys for your patience and I appreciate it. And uh, please forgive me for taking so long. And that all being said, Space Miner's checking out. Love you guys and uh, look forward to seeing more of your work. And I hope I can show you more of mine. All right, bye, y'all.